How are you guys doing? It's Martin from Gardens for Life. I just want to show, give you guys a quick update on the nursery and the greenhouse. And I want to show you um, all the plants that I've uh, repotted that have been grown from seed. And even some grown from cuttings as well. And I'd like to um, empty out the greenhouse of the first wave of plants that have been grown from seed here uh, over the last two months. And I'd like to start a new batch of uh, plants. Like uh, Part of that is actually the sweet corn and another batch of uh, beetroot and um, a few flowers like valerian as well and angelica. So I'll just um, show you here, there's a cinnamon vine. So these have all gone from that size of a tray, small little modules, usually nine in a tray, into each individual plant into a one litre pot and that will give them plenty of room to grow and usually I use potting compost as you can see here it's it's real dry at the moment but it's real crumbly it's just um, basically just to hold the moisture there's no fertility in that uh, potting side at all and um, here I'm using one-year-old uh, mushroom compost in these pots and that gives the plants a boost of fertility and as you can see here these have all been um, repotted recently that's cinnamon vine or Chinese yam um, it's a perennial potato actually grows into a, a long tuber. Here is some, um, I believe this is a very rare variety of uh, New Zealand spinach. It's actually red New Zealand spinach. So this is um, tuberous uh, peas. These are quite rare as well. Yeah, so at the moment there is uh, four different jobs in the nursery and um, that is growing new plants from seed uh, in trays in the greenhouse and then potting them on uh, once they've germinated and grown a little bit. And um, uh, you have uh, starting pl new plants from cuttings, or rooting cu new cuttings. You do that outdoors though, not in the greenhouse. And um, planting out plants that are ready to go anyway. So those are the four different jobs that are uh, kind of ongoing uh, this time of the year. At least during the growing season anyway, especially early on in the growing season, while there is soft wood available. Here is something more common. This is actually a new batch that I've started uh, just a few days ago. Jeez, it's already starting. Uh, that was only three days ago. That's called rabbi, red and um, or purple and white, and some corn. This is all corn. You can see it's starting up already. That's been in pots for a week here now, or in trays. And um, that corn is actually called Northern Extra Sweet, and um, it's from uh, Scotland. Apparently, from the Highlands even. It should grow here in Ireland, no problem. Just don't want to take a chance on corn in case we don't end up with a summer because um, you might end up with it not ripening. And here's a few, still the last few bits of garlic left over and some uh, pink hollyhock that need to grow a little bit more before I can pot them on. Yeah, so I'm, I'm basically reusing the space already. As you can see here, the next table is already nearly uh, clear. And um, if you've seen the last video on the greenhouse, the greenhouse tour, uh, it would have been all full a little bit like that here. That's some ochre here, um, white and red. And um, yeah, basically, I'd like to uh, repot everything I have or plant it out so that it doesn't end up in the pots for too long because it doesn't grow any bigger and it's going to get pot bound as well, as you can see here. Look at that. That plant has exhausted its um, rooting space, so that needs to be planted out or repotted for that matter and um, new plants can go in here I don't really want to keep uh, large plants in pots on the tables although I could uh, but it's not necessary it's just kind of higher maintenance you're better off to you're better off to actually keep them outdoors where the rain can water them we sure have that um, a fairly reliable source of uh, water um, here in Ireland now recently it's been raining for a week straight, so today is the day now I'm going to plant things out. And because um, it's actually nice weather now. Uh, here's some uh, rhubarb that needs to be repotted. That's Glaskin Perpetual, great variety of rhubarb. Uh, you can pick it any time of the year. And uh, malic acid, I believe it is, in the, the acid either way, in the leaves doesn't go back into the stalks as the plant retrieves retreats back into the um, into the ground up for the winter so you can pick it any time even after midsummer uh, it's the only variety of rhubarb by the way you can do that with uh, everlasting peas definitely going to repot these 
maybe we'll make these available to you guys at some point later in the summer and um, yeah a few more bits and pieces here to go out and this table here is almost clear as well I'll show you guys what it used to look like it used to be fairly full in here now and um, so I've got plenty of extra space now to grow some more bits and pieces so here's the potting table this is how many trays have come out of the greenhouse in the last few days and um, some of which successful, some of which not so successful and here is the result quite a few plants mostly done from seed but a lot of them done from um, root cuttings like the mints uh, the rhizome itself here is um, pineapple mint it's very decorative and it's a lovely smell too it's lovely uh, here is iced tea, it's actually a cross between um, lemon balm and a type of mint as well and here is uh, Moroccan mint lots of bits and pieces, here are some new varieties of willow some of the rhubarb we saw earlier here is uh, black mallow and great mullen so yeah most of these plants here uh, have been quick and easy to repot using our potting table and uh, most of them are done from seeds, some of them from cuttings. Here is curly willow, it's only small yet, so we'll give that maybe about three or four weeks, like all of these plants, and they will have actually probably doubled up or even tripled in size. And um, here's some roses that were done from cuttings last year. It's a lovely white rose that we have grown in the front garden, and the cuttings were actually quite successful. I'd say we had about 80% success rate with those and that's without any rooting hormone Here are some licorice trees. I'd like to plant them out directly, but they're a bit too small. They might get lost in the wood chips Since here's a, a goji berry that I need to plant out although it is a 35 litre pot. I don't think it's big enough to be honest and um, Here's the rest of the nursery here is um, a thornless blackberry that had fallen over and um, rooted into the ground over time before we had redone, up, redone the nursery and um, we ended up with 20 rooted cuttings off it, uh, basically new plants and uh, now I've just poured wood chips over it and watered it well over the last two weeks and hopefully we'll end up with more plants. I did scar the, or scarify as it's called, um, the stems a little bit so hopefully it'll encourage root, root, new roots to form and we'll end up with a few more plants that's why I'm keeping it here and geez look at the abundance of black currants here this bush is only about uh, one and a half years old now it's been grown from a small cutting check it out I didn't even see this yet amazing amazing abundance of berries this year a lot of the gooseberries have also got a lot of berries on them. Onto the cuttings here, um, finally did a um, few more red currants. So this entire tray here is just full of um, uh, red currant cuttings. Here is some purple lilac, here is some elder. Although I'm going to do elder from green cuttings anymore and plant it directly in the ground. Uh, here is some other cuttings of a plant that we didn't even know what it was. Uh, before it's actually false orange blossom. I'll show you a picture here or even a quick video the bees and the other insects absolutely love this plant so I'm going to grow more of these and hopefully we'll have a heap of plants then next year or even later on in the year. Here's some rose cuttings it's yellow it's a lovely yellow rose here's a hydrangea that we have in the front garden lots of other bits and pieces and cuttings and um, Here's what's going out today into the garden. Some uh, white truffle, Jerusalem artichoke, a new variety that we're growing. And um, some ochas. So these are purple, white, and red ochre. And uh, three different varieties of yakon as well. 